dollars, bro. One, one to ten. I'm trying to max look. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, what would you rate yourself? Huh? What would you rate yourself? What's up everybody? It is now Saturday and I finally feel like I have no more jet lag. Caught up on sleep last night, the night prior to that, only got three hours. You know, the time difference is uh, three hours behind. And so it's about 11 a.m. Been going to bed late every single night, but that's kind of like the, the itinerary of whenever I travel. I was talking to Chad about this, but it's always, you know, you wake up early, do a lot of shit throughout the day. You might take a nap when you get back to the hotel and then you go to dinner and then you do nightlife and then you repeat it all over. Like the shit gets exhausting after about two days of doing it. And right now I'm on my second day. But um, as you saw in the previous night, one thing I have learned, especially about nightlife, is that as a guy, you need to be wearing pants. And number two, make sure that you wear sleeves. I don't know why I, I never understood or realized this. I think I just never had to deal with that issue because I never wore sleeveless shirts or shorts or anything when I went out anyway. Like This is like a, a new thing for me, trying to like, get a little bit more streetwear fashion, right? So yeah, I've been learning a lot. Uh, we, we bounce around to different areas. I would say the nightlife in LA is on a completely different level in terms of just max volume. Like there are a ton of places to go and each place we went, there's a shit ton of people there. Lines are long. And so the place we went to last night, multi level, really house party vibes. It felt like I was 20, 22 years old again at a college house party, but it was super dope. Different levels of music, different demographics of people. Ratios are absolutely crazy. Um, I would say at the minimum, it's gonna be a 50 to 50 woman to guy ratio. But in a lot of cases, I feel like there's more women than, than uh, guys there and different types of uh, girls too. Like last night, I saw Sky Bree. If you don't know who Sky Bree is, that's actually a good thing, but she just casually walking by chilling she's with her group of friends i saw another guy on a, a dating reality show i've seen before so it's like it's kind of surreal you know even me as a creator myself kind of surreal running into people who you just seen through a box or on social media like consistently like kind of in their natural habitat and then that's when i realized you know they're human too the same way you guys come up to me sometimes and you're like kind of freaked out or like you kind of shocked in this sort of way. And versus me, I just, I'm just a normal guy. I just, I just happen to record videos, you know? You gotta view that same way about uh, different people in LA or different people you come across in general, whether it be celebrities, actors, influencers, you know, they're all just humans at the end of the day. And if I was a, a pro Skybury, which I did not, also you can never approach as a fan. You can't just go out to her and be like, oh my God, love your work, or I know who you are. Like you almost gotta position it in a way to where you don't know who they are. You just, they're just a normal girl and you found them attractive or you found them interesting. You guys on the same, treat her like a celebrity, she's gonna treat you like a fan. So if you're ever in a situation like that, which I'm not sure if you guys will ever be, just keep that in mind. Now you guys know, first thing in the morning, we drinking that coconut water. You know, my sister, she said this tastes like spit. I'm like, huh, it must be an acquired taste because I actually like it. Is that weird? I don't know. But you guys know, if you know, you know, coconut water, magnesium, electrolytes, as I said before, really good. Uh, I've been drinking one of these every single morning. And what I'm about to do next is follow up on this hinge video, which you guys have, once again, I've probably seen, but the, the hinge lights are actually like pretty decent. Like if you, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but we got 35 in like 48 hours and um, they're pretty attractive. They're really receptive. Last night, in, in terms of females, you know, they're definitely a lot more choosy. I didn't make any necessarily approaches, but you know, they were, they were looking, they're always choosing for the most part, but last night they were definitely really choosy. So yeah, guys, let's see what today brings us. We got some stuff going on, but y'all stay tuned. Let's get into it. All right, guys. I'm about to hit the gym again. We're at a place you guys have probably seen. I actually met him. Wones this gym uh, when I was in Miami at Elevation, did a little video, and we're at no other place than the legendary Zoo Culture. He has two locations. We're in Encino right now. As you see, Zoo Culture Gym. I'm gonna check it out. We might do full body today. I don't know. We'll see, but let's see how the gym is. You know, only other place I gotta go to is Alpha Land now. Oh, I definitely need one of these. I am freaking tired let's do this bucked up let's go all right starting off first do some chest and triceps 
All right, no, I love the incline bench. Recently, I've been liking this movement a lot. For years, I've been doing um, dumbbell, but I don't know, I feel like I can just press a lot more with this and it feels more comfortable in my shoulders, so. Definitely go a little heavier too. Yeah guys, if you're flat benching, what are you doing? If you're not powerlifting, if you're not trying to increase your bench press numbers, flat bench press, or you're a beginner, I don't see the point in flat bench pressing. From my aesthetics perspective, it's all about the upper chest. Bless me myself, my lower chest is too, too big anyway. So that's what I do in terms of all my chest movements, prioritize the upper chest. Incline, and as you see here soon, do some flies too, low to high. So we added a 10 to the bar. One thing guys, you gotta remember, it's all about progress. When you're in the gym, ask yourself, I've, I've been lifting the same weight for the past three months, past year, past two years. That's a sign that you're either not pushing yourself or you're not making progress because you're not getting stronger. Everything is based in strength. Me, myself, my initial goal outside of obviously getting muscle because I was skinny was to actually just get strong with my body weight. In each workout, I was looking for ways to make it difficult, make it more challenging for me because I knew if I didn't put myself in an uncomfortable environment in terms of my muscles, it wouldn't force an adaptation, right? So next time you're in the gym, add some weight to the bar, bro. I'm trying to get at least at least four to six reps. I'm personally always like training heavy. Oh, oh, oh this is fucking light. This shit is too light. Let's go. Six. Seven. Let's go. And you'll surprise yourself too. A lot of my calisthenics skills and stuff I learned when I'm pull up muscle ups, weighted muscle ups, I learned all that stuff by surprising myself in terms of my strength. So even this, I probably, probably add two plates, surprise myself again. You never know how strong you are until you go for it. Yo, yo, what's up, man? Yo, I've been following you. Yo, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> how you doing? I thought you live in Greece. I moved here. Oh, okay. you moved here, okay. How about you? Uh, I'm just, Miami, yeah? uh, Orlando, Miami, yeah. But I'm just visiting for the weekend, man. Really? Yeah. Crazy, nice Good to see another calisthenics guy. Yeah. Yeah. Strong ass dude, guys. If you're in a heavy weighted calisthenics, check your shit out. Yeah, man. Like I said, it's, it's crazy when you've been following people for years. Like, yes, because you both have an aligned, like, hobby or passion or vision. Like, we followed each other back in 2017. You know, we just always been IG friends, and here he is. It's crazy. But, anyways, like I said, we're back to the set. We're going to push ourselves on this next one. So, we're going to go for. At least three reps. I have no spotter, so I gotta be very careful. Let's see what we got. Ugh, all this shit is like though. Yeah. Got it. Told you guys, never know to you. Actually do it. Might shock yourself. Let's go. All right, guys, I'm next. We're gonna do what I'm best at. What you guys have probably seen me do for years. And I haven't done it for a very long time. But um, some planche push ups. You might get chat on it too. Still got it, man. Still got it, man. Actually, uh, a while ago, just back in 2020, I went after a planks world record. Did a whole video on it. I was trying to go for like most planks push-ups in a row. I forgot how many I ended up doing. Let's see what he does. He's going for it. Let's go. There you go, yep. Nice. Jeez. Bro, that's good for over 200 pounds. Yeah, the the... Front shoulder is crazy. It's all lower chest and front shoulder. You're oh, wow. Right? Yes, yeah. How you doing? Nice to meet you, Austin. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nope. Don't got it. It's tough. Yeah, give it a shot at home if you want to try it because it's, it's not easy. It looks easy. Yo, keep your legs bead. And push up, but like your 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 core has to be really strong to keep your legs yeah. up. Oh, 
Oh, Dom, sorry to interrupt you, man. You probably don't remember, but you made a video called Why Calisthenics Won't Get You Laid. Yeah. I made a video reply back in 2017, and I got, got like a million you views. Got laid yet, though? Huh? You got laid yet, Absolutely, though? man. <laughs> Absolutely. Nice What's to meet up, you, bro. What's your name? Austin. Austin, good Austin to meet you, yeah. 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 I still see your videos occasionally. You like pop in once every four or five months or so, yeah, right? Yeah, let's check in. Yeah. Jokes here and there. Gotcha. Well, it's good to meet you once again. Awesome. Have a great workout, man. You too. See you. So we had a good workout. Now usually I would go to Chipotle, I would go to chill out, know, cook at home. But you know, we're in good old California, so you gotta do it the California way of going to the classic in and out burger joint. Now y'all let me know. I grew up eating Whataburger. I believe Whataburger is like number one when it comes to fast food burgers. But some of you guys will say this. Some of you guys will say it's also overrated. So we're gonna find out. Last time I ate here, uh, it was back in 2019, it was for a cheat meal. So we're gonna see how it is. We're gonna see what we get, Let's see what they had. All right, after about 20 damn minutes, they finally made a, my double double burger. And my fat ass got a shake too. That's kind of as a protein shake. It's straight up ice cream. She didn't, like usually with shakes, like they mix it, blend it. They just took it out, straight out the ice cream thing, put a, a lid on it. I was like, okay, probably why it's three dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm excited about. I should have ordered two. Honestly, I'm that hungry. Yeah, this is no more double. I got it without the no veg. It's good though. Unless I butter the buns. Yeah. Yeah. No pickles. A little bit. It's like a thousand island dressing, so it's like there's like price shaved pickles in there. Yeah. Should have ordered two, but I'm not gonna wait another 20 minutes for another burger. So we met at pit stop. Chad, want to show me this crazy view on the hilltop? The the air is nice and crisp up here too. Yeah, it's definitely more crispier. Can't be speeding up these roads. Look at that, you see. Shit, all of LA, almost. A lot of it. I'm get a picture of you like right here. Oh yeah, definitely, that's a dope, dope picture spot. All right, let's do it. Yeah, I'll get a photo op. Yeah, shirtless with it. <laughs> let's go. Try to get me going through these damn bushes. Where are we even going? Make it through. Oh, okay, this is the view. I mean, that ass fall off this if you missed a stump. Yeah, guys, that's how you do a, a scenic photo shoot real quick. Very nice. And what's this place called? Uh, Mulholland Drive. Mulholland Drive. So if you're in LA, like have some views, be out of breath a little bit. Yeah. Come here. It's dope. Five seconds, bro. Be honest, bro. One, one to ten. I'm trying to match. Look, look, look. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. What would you rate yourself? Huh? What would you rate yourself? I think you need to work on your body. I think you could groom your beard a little bit sharper. I think you lose, lose a little bit more body fat. Right now, it's like a five and a half, but you could get to like a seven, seven and a half, bro. Honestly, you got a good eye area too, no homo. Lose body fat, groom your beard a little more, kind of make it like the dead end a little sharper. And uh, bro, it's mostly your body fat, bro. Are you in the gym right now? Uh, I'm not consistently. I'm, I'm, I'm exactly. I'm yeah, so you're in the gym, groom the beard, and you're set, bro. Fix the outfit, the style a little bit. I mean, it's all right. It's not too bad, but you know, you're doing kind of work there too a little bit. Where's some more jewelry, bro? Where's the drip? I'm not even from here, bro. I live in North Carolina. I'm just out here visiting. Bro, I live in Florida. I'm just visiting too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah.